In a game between two Super Bowl contenders today, one of the best AFC teams against one of the best NFC teams, things are trending in opposite directions for these teams. As the Bengals, a team that started 0-2 and then also 1-3, have now won three straight games and are above 500 and look just as good as the Bengals have finished the last couple years, which is a Super Bowl contender. And the 49ers, who started the year 5-0 and they got the favorites to win, they got to be the favorites to win the Super Bowl. Ever since then, they've dropped three straight games to the Browns, to the Vikings, now the Bengals. And in those three games, the offense kind of struggled to put up points in all of them because at the start of the year, it was like they were scoring 30 every game. But I'm going to be going over takeaways from both sides. So obviously one thing that you can point to is that offense. They've been without Trent Williams for the last couple weeks, without Debo Samuel last couple weeks. But then Brock Purdy, a guy that has excelled so much because he's not going to go outside of himself. He's not going to turn the ball over. In the last three games, all of a sudden he has thrown three touchdowns to five interceptions so he barely has thrown an interception in the regular season up until the last three games where he's thrown five of them he had that concussion that maybe led to a couple on Monday night football but he cleared the protocol and threw two more today where the Bengals defense were just able to predict his read and then they were able to take advantage of him there so he threw a couple interceptions so let me know what you guys think is Brock Purdy's play the last couple weeks anything to worry about for the 49ers we'll see what ends up happening Thing, but definitely something to keep an eye on because three straight losses from a team of this caliber is definitely surprising. And then on the other hand, one thing that has completely changed is Joe Burrow. At the start of the year with that calf, it was clear that he wasn't 100%, but now we were getting reports that the calf is back to 100% by Ian Rappaport before kickoff, and you could see it in today's game. It wasn't just the passing where he was 28 for 32 for 326 yards, three touchdowns and zero interceptions against this prolific Niners defense. It was being able to create time for himself too. He had a 20-yard run, which he would not have been able to do at the start of the year. He was moving so gingerly in the pocket and was very immobile at the start of the year. But now he's on the loose. He's finding Jamar Chase a ton. And overall, he's just looking like the Joe Burrow that we've seen the last couple years, which is an MVP contender. And that defense has been playing very, very good as well. Whether you want to put it on Brock Purdy or that Bengals defense, that Bengals defense has been good year in and year out last couple years when they've made these deep runs as well. So a couple takeaways from this game, the 49ers, three straight losses after a 5-0 start. That's definitely something to watch. And the Bengals are Super Bowl contenders. They're among the AFC's elite. They're also among the NFL's elite. When Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are playing like this with that defense, with the playmakers they have, they can beat anyone in any given game. Next week, Sunday night football, it'll be a little better than this week. It's going to be Bills-Bengals. That'll be a great matchup to watch between two AFC hopefuls.